as I told you, like a lot of the steampunk stuff is a lot like Halloween. Um, nothing so Halloweeny as the spirits by the long lost. They sell stuff, and and I don't know how. <laughs> Hello. I don't know how this guy collects the money, but uh, somehow he does. Maybe you're just supposed to throw it in the in the jack lantern or something. <laughs> But it's lovely, like, jewelry, it looks like, and stuff. So if you come to the Steampunk World Fair next year, you should come and see the long lost. Say hi to our good buddy, uh, skeleton guy, and buy stuff. It might be food, too. Yeah, Buckeyes. Candy corn Buckeyes. Candy corn Buckeyes. Buckeyes made with candy corn. I never did understand what you could do with candy corn. It just seemed like a weird thing, but apparently you could put them in Buckeyes. Uh, of course, you should take the Buckeyes out of the bucks first. You should probably kill them humanely. Chucky here. Now here's a part that would fit right in with our Halloween haunt thing. It's like steampunk Grim Reaper lady person. You have to be careful here, you never know. So, uh, this person sits around here and waits for people to walk by and if they look like they've been drinking really a lot so nobody would miss them, she could just take them away. Sometimes we actually find like other hot people here at Steampunk World Fair. Here's one of our lovely makeup artists who's like selling hair bows. We bought some yesterday but I'm not wearing one. I probably should, my hair's a mess. So, anyway, good to see you! In more of the crossover between the steampunk world and the Halloween horror world, we have the people here called the Horror Show Jack, where they do fangs, and, and maybe all they do is fangs, but like they also have this really cool like statue thing here of the scary guy. They also have the Oh, they do the scare bears. Can I film the scare bears? They're so cute and scary. We should have these at Halloween Hot. Because, like, people would come up and say, oh, can I pet your cute little, like, scare bear? And I'd say, yes, if it's not hungry. If it's hungry, it'll eat your fingers, and then I won't get them. Oh. And being State Buck is Victorian, we do have a lot of people who are in these bird things. I, I found one of them. He looks very nice. He's, like, all dressed up, all dapper, and he's got a gun. So I'm going to leave now because he might like point that thing at me and I won't like it. Oh, see? This is getting creepier. I, I have to run away now. Goodbye! Chucky here. I made it away from the bird guy. Uh, he looked like a zombie after he took off his like mask. So, uh, there are a lot of people here. There's a lot of like steampunk stuff that's like almost indistinguishable from scary hot stuff. So, there's all sorts of creepy, like Halloweenish, like horror things here at the Seapunk World's Fair. Here are two of my friends, who I say are my friends because I just met them two seconds ago, and I'm hoping that they won't like try to beat me up after I finish. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Gentlemen, roll up. It's a Carnival Carnival sideshow. Gentlemen, the Carnival Carnival sideshow is about to begin. It's fabulous five-in-one freak show act for you this afternoon. But ladies and gentlemen. Everyone is invited first off for the big free show, free show outside of the freak show. Step right up. Don't worry, folks, we don't bite unless you ask very, very nicely. Come a little. And our Mad Hatter has made it here to the Steampunk World's Fair. What a course. Looking, looking lovely and also kind of mad and hattery. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. <laughs> and you just never know who you'll be. Here you just keep walking. A little skeleton person. There's a lot of things here at Steampunk World Fair. A lot of things. Some things you just don't want to like know what's going on. And that was one of them. 